Alright, so today we're going to do a few other types. Did you just not go? No. Just look at the one next to you. I thought we got them all fixed. Um, and so we're going to do a few other kinds of sections tonight. We're going to do breakout sections, aligned sections, and that's it. Breakout and aligned sections is what we're doing tonight. We're also going to talk about, uh, talk about spokes. So what was the thing about we talked about last week with ribs? Do we section ribs? Yeah. Yes? No. Yes. Does it does it depend? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Depends on which way you look at it, right? If you're cutting through it the thin way, you don't show it. If you cut through it where it's going down, then you do show it. So the spokes is kind of like that also. Or a circular rib has the same kind of thing. Gosh, you can do that later. <clears throat> so a broken out section is kind of like a half section where we want a half section just part of it. But here, instead of doing a section line and cutting it out the whole half of it, what we do is we just draw the squiggly line. What was the squiggly line called? What kind of break? A short. A short break, right? And is it thick or thin? Thick. thick. So we draw a short break line, and then we just say that this part is our section. And we just pick however far back you want a section. Because we're, if we're wanting a section to show this stuff in here, we're, we just draw it as if that stuff is solid. There's no way, we don't have to show here where we're cutting it. You just have to, in your mind, go, okay, I'm cutting it right here. We could do another section, another one, right here. It would turn that line solid and that one solid. Right? So I can do another breakout right there. And is that the same place that I cut this one? No, right? Because the first cut was here. Now I'm cutting it here. So I moved over a little bit. I don't need to show that at all over here. I just need to show it. Because here it's just, okay, now it's solid. And then next week, when we get to dimensioning, we'll, you'll understand why we do that. Because one of our dimensioning rules is we can't dimension things that are hidden. So if you have something that's hidden, you want to dimension it, break out section, now it's solid, now you can dimension to it. Okay? Any questions on breakouts? All right. <coughs> so a line section. Remember back when we did aligned views? Where we had parts that were kind of symmetrical, they were kind of round, they had like three things. It would bring one of them down and over. Do the aligned section is the same exact thing. But now our section line it goes down and we go out like that. So now we just revolve this down to the bottom. So we just take this and kind of pull it down. And then we push it across for projection. So it's just like we did before. But now it's a section. Okay? So, same thing here. Section so line coming down and out. Sometimes it throws you a wrench in it, though, where maybe you'll have holes. They'll do it like that, and you'll have holes like that. So in that case, you can have your section line come down, slide over, and do that. And then that arc is concentric with all the other ones, the same center point. So kind of like with the offset section where we just went straight across, so we're doing here, we're just going down, going straight across, and then coming back through the hole. Okay? And then when, and now when I draw that over here. Yep. Can you give both sides one? Do this side? Or on the top. Oh, I can come over this way? Yeah. yeah. So I could have done that too. I mean, do you do. Like, I could come through here, like that. Can you do only one of them since they're like both in the same? Yeah, because they're these are on a, the same bottle. Yeah. The bolt circle, so you can only, you only have to do one of them. 
But if you had ones at different distances, then you'd do it and go through all of them. That way you can see all of your holes in the section view. But if I wanted to show this one over here now, what would I do? Actually, that would be possible to do on that one, right? Yeah. Does, is there anything in this area? No. So let me do one out where it's possible to have something. So let's say out here. So I come down, come over, like that. So now how would we project that over to the side? So my compass. Line it up there. Bring it up. Go back to there. Slide that up. Now I can draw my projection lines from where it crosses straight across. See how I do that? I just set my center, bring my compass out, draw the arc, draw the arc just to where it crosses that center line, and then I can project it across. So any questions about that? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So <clears throat> we have circular ribs, so ribs, right, just like we did last week. If we're coming down section through it, and see here's another example of that kind of where you do different angles to get through it. Because we came down, went through the rib, through this, what's that called? A keyway. So we went down through the rib, through the keyway, <clears throat> then down through this other rib, up and out through the other hole. So that's gives us this. A lot better than that, right? Finding out where these ribs are going to be at the angles, and I draw them in. It doesn't look right, so easier just pull it out, bring it across. <clears throat> Let's see our rib. Say just like last week, we're not sectioning it because we're going through it the thin way, right? What if I cut it this way? When I show it, so if I did a section this way. Would I show the rib as a hatch? Like if I did, like if I wanted to do another one of these, we can start for some reason. So if I cut it like that, and then project it back this way, so I wanted to make another one of these views, but where it's cut right there, would I show the, how would I show the ribs? Now I'd hatch them, right? Because now the ribs are offering support in that direction. So I would show them, and they are going all the way up and down, so to show them, okay? But usually you wouldn't do that. But if you did, if for some reason, so spokes are the same thing. If spokes, we don't show it section. Because when you look at this, the section, you think it's going all the way around. You think it's a solid thing. So if it is solid, if it's like a, a solid wheel kind of thing, then you would. But if it's a spoke, you don't show its section. Okay. So any question on that? Yes, no. All right. <clears throat> so the homework today is um, SEC BO one A, which is this sheet. Which you can see, we have two parts. We have this top section. We're doing a breakout of two, two cylinders that are coming together. So where is our breakout section going to go? 
Is it going to go this part down here? No, right? Because that's our, that still has hidden lines. So it's going to go up here, right? What's that thing going to look like? So what are you going to need to project? Inside of the circle. Yeah, we need the inside of the circle down, right? And then anything inside of you we need? What? The, the top of Where? Here? Here? So this, this corner right here? Yeah, right? Because that's where this side is. Does that corner matter? No, because that's on the outside. We're doing a section so we can't see the outside. We care about that inside one. So it's going to look something like that. So we have the, the two edges. So we're going to have, we have some edges like this. Right? And then we're going to have an arc right there. So what's that bottom of that arc? See that? 